There's a new tool that's blowing my mind. Emo. Emote Portrait Alive. They are promising to give everyone the power to make a picture appear to sing a song or just look like it is singing. Let's see what this tool can do. And even more importantly, when it will be available for public use. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I want it to be public. Recently, OpenAI introduced Sora text to video model, where you can write a text prompt and it will give you a video. It looks super impressive, but I haven't seen any footage of advanced facial expressions. But that's where Alibaba came up with something amazing and scary at the same time. So Emo. Emote Portrait Alive, generating expressive portrait videos with audio to video diffusion model under weak conditions. It looks quite complicated when you put it like this, but all that means that you need to upload an image, audio, and it will generate a video. Here's how it works in practice. You input audio of someone talking or singing. Then you input a single image, which can be a real person, AIGC, or anime, and it will give you a driven video. Let me show you some generated examples. Okay, so here's the first video of Mona Lisa talking. <clears throat> yes, one. And in this manner, he was to imagine me his love, his mistress. And I set him every day to rule me, at which time would I, being but a moonish youth, grieve. Jeez, that looks super weird. Imagine traveling back in time and showing this to Leonardo da Vinci. I bet he would consider me a witch. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. How DiCaprio manages to rap one of the most difficult songs in the world. An AA with an AK melee finish at it like a play date, but a vacate retreat like a vacate mayday. This beat is cray cray, Ray J, H A H A H A. Laugh it all the way to the bank. I spray flames that cannot tame or placate the monster. You get in my way, I'ma feed you to the monster. Normal during the day, but at night turn to a monster. When the moon. Well, I know DiCaprio is talented, but I bet he couldn't rap this song. You see, he moves his head all over the place, his eyes can blink, and he shows different emotions. This is super realistic. Now let's see how it animates other languages. For example, this one is in Chinese. Okay, so typically when you see something like this, only the lips or mouth move. But here you can notice facial expression changing, head movements and everything syncing with the singing or talking. It's really impressive to see. I believe Harry Potter living paintings are gonna look pretty ordinary to kids of the next generation. But let's look at the paper, how they managed to do that. So first, they start with the reference image. Then they include the motion frames, which are created during this diffusion process. And then you get the end result. I don't fully understand this process, but I believe every expression and motion comes from audio. You see, every audio track has different voice pitches. So for example, A deep low voice pitch might make the input image look angry or frustrated. While a high voice pitch would probably make your reference image look happy and smiling. I'm sure some of you know better, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Some other impressive things I found in this paper is that here they say that they can generate videos any duration depending on the length of input audio. Which is really cool, because Sora can generate videos only up to 60 seconds. Well, at least what they say in their official document. Also, here they say that they're focusing on the dynamic and nuanced relationship between audio cues and facial movement. So that's what I talked about earlier. They can listen to the audio and figure out how someone's head will probably move when they talk or sing. And that is what's unique about this AI. Because other avatar generators are really limited when it comes to facial expressions or head movements. Here are some examples of my created clones and defakes using other tools. Hey, this is my clone talking. As you can see, it's not the best. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. You can definitely see how much better this one is. However, with great power comes great responsibility. An AI like this opens up a lot of possibilities for scammers or even propaganda. Anyone with basic computer skills could create a fake content to spread misinformation. Of course, we already have defakes, but defakes require much more work to look realistic. The thing that's worrying me is that this tool comes from Alibaba. 
a Chinese company. And as we know, China is not the best at keeping our data private. Additionally, it will be a real challenge for journalism and democracy. But let's better talk about what can be done so it wouldn't be used against us. Probably the easiest way would be to delete all your photos from all social media accounts, which doesn't sound realistic nowadays. But it's definitely a good practice to not use your real photos for forums, Reddit or other similar accounts. To prevent ourselves from being scammed, you can look for signs in videos. For example, one thing you can notice is any transformation or blurring around the mouth, eyes or hairline. I also noticed that these generated videos kind of have the same head movements. It looks like the head is bouncing off the walls. But Probably the most important thing is simply being aware of the possibilities of modern technology and recognizing that we can't trust anything online 100%. If you get a video of a person you know saying something important, you should definitely double check with them over other means of communication. Just give them a call or even better do a video call with them. On the other hand, it could help many creators who don't show their faces in their videos. It would also save me time creating simple b-rolls. This tool could be also used for educating and training. Of course, I would use it for entertainment purposes also. But as cool as this is, it's created by Alibaba Group, the team behind the Animate Anyone project, which has never been released. So the odds are pretty same with this one as well. Considering all the potential risks, you might think it's better this way. But personally, I think it's important for humanity to start using this tool to become immune to it. So AI can be described as a fork. You can eat with it, but it's also possible to stab with it. Tools like this can bring a lot of good and bad. It amazes me how this world is moving so fast with all the innovations and technologies. In my opinion, AI is a risky game that humanity should play. And now, as always, surf safe and stay incognito.